is that it's just more than likely the tire. Let's get to a spot. If you'll notice here, the bead where the tire is on the rim, get out the light, is flush down here. But if I turn the wheel about 180 degrees, you'll see, you see some ridging where the bead's actually higher here than there, which causes, I don't know if you can see that, it's not very much. But like I said, I'm, I'm really picky and it causes a little hop in the wheel. So I'm going to take the tire off and remount it because it's on there backwards anyways. And when I do so, I'll lubricate both sides of the rim really well and over inflate the tire and let it sit. And hopefully that'll get the bead to repop evenly on both sides all the way around. And this is one side disconnected. Yeah, flip it over and go to the other side. That is too funny. After uh, wrestling with bicycle tires and motorcycle tires and car tires and all that stuff, this had to have been the easiest tire in the world to take off. So if, if you're having a really hard time getting this tire off, there may be little hope for you. Yeah, what I've done here is I uh, lubricated the rim and I inflated and deflated the tire a few times. I had to push in here while it inflated so that this side would pop because it was actually still a high spot here. I didn't rotate the lettering because the tube was already in there yet. But it looks to me maybe a little high here in compare to over here. Not really. It looks pretty even. I said the dish soap also lets you know if your tube got pinched because if there's a leak it'll show bubbles. And you can put it in the valve cord to check to see if your valve cord is leaking. It's not, so I want to clear the water out of it before you put the cap on. This tire right now is inflated to 40. You know, I went to 50 and back to 40. And I'll let it sit like this for a little while just to make sure it's not leaking. And to get it nice and seated. But yeah, that looks to me like it's straight. We'll get a spin test when I get it back together. And uh, I'll go ride it and I'll know if the hop is gone. Uh, before I get it while I was in here, I figured I might as well check my pedal hanger bolts. And I actually did find one that was uh, loose. This wheel only has about 100 miles on it. So while you're in here, you can check things like that. Alright, it's all back together. Let's see here, I see the tiniest little bit of ridges where the tire meets the bead. Little ridges, little ridges. Looks a little bit tighter maybe right here. And I'm back down to 25 pounds where I run it. This is opposite where it's tighter. It's... We'll ride it and see how that goes. All right, well, I'm out here. I'm gonna do a test ride on the wheel. I recalibrated and I got my pressure down to 25 where I like it. Let's see if spinning the tire direction, reseating the bead and redoing the pressure along with calibration turns this into the Cadillac like I know it should be. Let's go. It was really obvious at higher speed, so that sounds like a good test. Oh, wow. Night and day, I was out to see if the hop was gone. And it's definitely gone. This is a lot smoother than it was. So before you start thinking your wheel's got a bent rim, just uh, check the tire. Twirl. 